I think the, the reason Bristol was so easy for me to bring to life as a character, or the reason it is, exists in the novel as a character, is because of the bubble. It's because of the fact that it's a very segregated city, racially segregated, and segregated in regard to class as well, which you can then draw so many comparisons from and to and you can explore in so many different ways. When we exist in ends in Bristol and ends in Bristol, we, it's, it's lower class areas or lower earning areas that are majority black. That's what we describe as ends. And so in Bristol, the main two are Eastern and St. Paul's and the book is set in Eastern, which is Stapleton Road, which features heavily in the book is the main road, the high street that runs through Eastern. It's a bubble of blackness. It's a bubble of, of faith. That you don't really meet people who, who are not either Christian or Muslim or from that background. And then you meet so many people who will go from one to the other, usually from Christianity to Islam. But yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the nature of the segregation, I think, that makes it so interesting to write. Because in comparison to somewhere like London, which could accurately be described as a melting pot, Bristol couldn't be. And I think Bristol is, is, is often championed for its diversity, which I think is quite inaccurate because although we have the fifth most black people in the country in regard to city, and uh, we have, I think we have a lower Asian population than the majority of cities, but they're always in the same, we're always in the same place. So if you leave Eastern, if you leave St. Paul's, other areas, it's starting to change now because of gentrification, but if you leave these areas, it's just, it's just white. And I think that's, that's what people outside of Bristol associate with Bristol. So writing about this feels new for a lot of people. Even for the people that are seeing themselves in it, it's, it's quite a new experience.